Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. We're in the kitchen again, so that means we are cooking. I have some stuff working. I have water boiling for the pasta and then I have broccoli steaming. We're doing like a spicy garlicky shrimp pasta, but I'm gonna include broccoli in it. And then these sun-dried tomatoes. If you remember from the last cooking video, I did some pasta, well, sort of kind of, that included this. So because I still have them, we're going to use them. And then I got Angel Hair Pasta is I like the thinness of it. Um, and then I have my shrimp. I got flash frozen shrimp. So it's thawed out in the water and I'm gonna take it out, um, take the tail off, peel it and all that jazz. And depending on how big they are, cause they do look kind of big, I might cut them in half and then season them in one bowl. But I've already prepped because I know like when cooking shrimp, it does cook pretty fast. So things would move fast. So I wanted to have that already in motion. And then I am gonna do a toast with it. I have some Texas toast that we're gonna do as well, but I'm gonna do that once I have a lay of the land better because I don't wanna cook it too early and then it's not hot by the time I eat. So that's what we have today. I'm gonna change the angle for you guys so you can see the shrimp and we'll get started. I don't plan to film the entire process, but I'm gonna put the um, outside in here to throw away and then my shrimp unpeeled in this bowl. And this is where it was sitting to defrost in here. I already drained the water out. Oh, so it only has a tail. So kind of just like pinch and pull out. And it seems like this has already been deveined as well. So just pinch in, taking the tail off and put it in my bowl. And afterwards, I will look at these are coming to get to um cutting them and doing the season but this makes it a bit easy i only have to take the tail off okay so all of the shrimp is good i decided i wasn't going to cut it because it's just going to shrivel up anyway but we're going to drizzle it with the rest of this olive oil, I do have more, but this will be enough to coat it. And then seasoning, we have zatarans. I'm trying to get it all out. So when it closes, it's not all over the place. Top it off and then the recipe called for red pepper flakes. So we got some of those and then I have garlic, but I have minced garlic. So I'm gonna use that when we cook it in the pan. And then I don't know if y'all can hear, but the pasta water is ready. So once we finish this, we're gonna move over and get that done. And then parsley for decoration. Just a little something, something. Get my tongs. Mix it up. Might add a little bit more or something. We'll see. But it's all mixed up. 
and then I'm going to move y'all over so we can see everything else. Alright, just so y'all can see, the broccoli is getting there and we're going to put the pasta in. If I need to add some more, I will, but I'm just going to put some in to start. And I've also started the oven for the toast. I do like to break my pasta, sorry if you don't. It just makes my life a bit easier. I can't tell if it's like half the, the pasta or not, so I'm gonna put a little bit more. That's enough. Move this pasta over to the side. Broccoli is doing well. And now we're gonna start with this. I'm gonna put this on about like four. We need butter, so I'm gonna do the butter. It said one fourth, but I'm gonna show y'all. Cut that and add it in. And then after I put the butter, I'm gonna put my toast in the oven. And then I turn this one down a bit. Girl, it's making a lot of noise. But I have this butter. Make sure it's all off and put that on. And once that melts, I'm gonna put, like I told y'all, the minced garlic to do my shrimp. Move my shrimp over here so y'all can see. And now let's do the toast. Do it with some foil. There's less stuff going on on this side. And then, I think the broccoli might be ready to come off. I'll put the toast in first and then I'll take the broccoli off. And then I'm going to take the broccoli off. Turn it off. And this is where I'm ready to go. So we're going to start putting my shrimp in. See how many I can get in at a time. Because I don't want the garlic on the bottom of the pan like last time. This child, that took forever to clean off. If I can get them all, that would be nice. But I also don't want to crowd it too much. pour the seasoning. I don't know if y'all can see, but we are going to pour the seasoning in here so it's flavored because you're really just going to carry this over into the pasta when it's finished. And then some of the shrimp are already getting smaller, which is fine. I'm going to put my one last one. 
para mix it in there. Get that seasoning. Now we're going to put some minced garlic in here. trying to put too much because I'm telling y'all I had a long long time trying to clean it the last time so I think that's enough it was about like three spoonfuls of this size this is the only spoon I have I don't have a pasta one just to check my noodles and they're doing good I have a few noodles that need more time in the water but you are going to need like one fourth cup of pasta water for the shrimp. So I'm going to strain it once it's all complete and then put it back in this big pot. I am going to um, do my sun dried tomatoes, but I want to make sure the shrimp is actually cooked. Let me move y'all closer. So hopefully y'all can see everything a little bit better, but I'm going to flip my shrimp over. Because it's getting pink. Shrimp usually doesn't take long to cook anyway. But still you want to make sure everything is evenly cooked. And I'm going to turn down the heat. It's closer to one now. And if you can see me mixing stuff, it's, I'm mixing so the garlic doesn't get stuck on the bottom. And then once these are at a point where I like them, we're going to put the sun-dried tomatoes in because they need to cook for a bit. And I'll put the broccoli in the pasta since those are already cooked. You don't need to, you know, let that go any longer. And y'all can't smell it, but it smells good. Dang, if I can turn this one over. There we go. It's looking good. So I'll come back when things are more to where they need to be. I'm back to the point where I'm trying to show y'all what's happening. So we're going to add these sun-dried tomatoes in. I'm adding all of them in because I don't know when I would use them in. And I added about half the bag the last time I used these. Nice and good. And some of these shrimps still need to be turned some more. So I'm going to put the heat back on like out of three. And then once things get a little bit softer, I'm going to add that pasta water in. Because you're going to want that to help make the little bit of sauce you have going on. And my pasta is at a point where it's about to be finished. Soft to where I would like it. So I'm just going to take pasta water out of it while it's still boiling. So as you can see, my tomatoes are cooking. Nice and good. Lay everything out. Check on the pasta. Nice and good. So I'm turning this off because the pasta is done. And I'm going to go get my pasta water and put it in here. So I added my pasta water in here. We're about to add everything into my other. Hi. Bringing this back on here for y'all. I haven't added the broccoli yet, but it has been strained. We're just going to add the shrimp first because she's ready to get off the stove. is looking good
You want to add all your flavors and stuff. Here is the broccoli. Put that in here. And if you need to add more seasoning after you can, it's completely up to you. Last bit of shrimp, I mean broccoli. All of it, my shrimp, my broccoli. You might think it doesn't look super appetizing right now. That's cause you know, it's not plated yet. My toast is almost done. So I'm going to see y'all when everything is ready to go. I'm finished. And I did most of my cleaning. I took some time before I caught back up with y'all to do some cleaning. So now I only have the pan that I did the shrimp in and then my pot because the rest of the pasta is in there. But babe, she looks great. You, sh you might not be able to see it, but the steam coming from and I did add some more seasoning when I put it in yeah I spiced mine up a bit more girl look at that do you see the steam do you see my pepper flakes I like a good bit of spice here and there so cater to your liking my broccoli my tomatoes and i have a few shrimps in here good so that's my meal i gotta wait for that to like chill out a little bit before i start putting that in a container and again i'm practically all cleaned up in the kitchen so i'm good to go this was fun a good little meal i actually found it on facebook I saw it on facebook and i was like yeah i want to try that so i'll put the little recipe uh so y'all can see that but that was the video a little cook with me thanks for watching try it yourself if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more please hit the subscribe button down below peace and blessings my loves